Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, everyone in between, grab your vices, chill out. And, you know, let's get straight to it. This is episode number 10, of course, uh, Straightforward with Miss B, um, along with my guest co-host, A.G. What's up, A.G.? What's up, peoples? How's it going today? Yes, 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 yes. So it's been a long, a long, long week for me. I've been trying to um, get myself together because, you know, shoot, I'm on this little mini vacation so I'm just ready to, you know, start my week, get a lot of things done, go take a trip to Texas real quick for a couple of days and stuff. Um, so that's basically what I've been doing all week. What about yourself? Oh, man, it's been a real slow week. I've just been laying low and trying to get some loose ends tied up because I didn't have a little free time and work to slow down a little bit. So I feel that's you, all man. That's what I've been doing. And anybody that's just tuning in, um, this may be your first time tuning in to the podcast. Um, AG, he is a college friend of mine. We've been knowing each other for a very, very, very long time, since the 90s. And um, he's yawning right now because uh, he's been (laughs) working all day at his tax and credit uh, preparation business that he has in Birmingham, Alabama. Um, So definitely, if you're in the Alabama area um i love people from alabama and um yeah check them out sometimes it is uh what is it all in one credit repair tax service yeah yeah you can reach us at area code 205-440-2503 and you can reach us on um my um website all the letter in the number one tax service dot com thank you all right, get y'all taxes done. That is definitely one of the things that I plan on getting done this week is working on my taxes. I also, um, you know, do my grandma's taxes as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I, you know, I want to hurry up and get that over with. <laughs> I hate just waiting to the very, 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 very last minute minute to oh, get yeah, it I done. Just mine off last night, so. Yeah, so if I have any questions, I definitely um, I'll hit you up. But today, um, oh, another thing, before we get into the topics for today, um, I wanted to say for those of you who are not who are tuning in as well, listen, I have a deep voice, okay? I have a naturally, <laughs> I have a naturally deep voice, right? <laughs> the way that I look and the way that I talk it's kind of like two different things. You would think I have m- much more of a, you know, higher pitched voice than I do. Um, but for those of you that may be, you know, that's just surprises how, how, at how deep my voice is. Look, I can't help it. I was born this way. Um, I talk just like my mother, same tone, same speed as her. So um, you guys just going to have to, you know, get over it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to change. At all. <laughs> I am not going to change. So anyway, so today's topic, so I was just trying to, you know, fumble around the internet, figuring out, okay, what would be, what would be a good topic for us to discuss today? And I think the topic of body counts. And the reason why is because I um, caught, you know, just caught a glimpse of a recent interview that, um, Gilly and Wallow from Philadelphia, they have a um, podcast, a pretty successful podcast called Million Dollars Worth of Game. And they were interviewing um, the rapper Little Dirk, who's from Chicago. And during that discussion, they was asking him questions in regards to um, him and his relationship with his um, longtime girlfriend. And I believe she may be a fiance at this point. As well, um, this girl who's basically a social media type influencer, her name is India. Um, They call her India Royale, I believe. But India, I mean, Dirk and India always seem to, uh, they're kind of like relationship goals for the the teens and, you know, the young adults out there. 
Because Dirk is always shower, showering her with love. They post, like, their pictures when it's on birthdays and, you know, Valentine's Day. And, and he's he's always, you know, holding her to this very, very, very high standard. So during the podcast episode, Little Dirk basically um, stated, they asked him, like, what was the reason that, you could have any girl. Now, mind you, little Dirk himself have about six or seven kids. So he, he's been with several women, right? Um, it could be considered to some as, quote, unquote, ran through, if that was used for a man, right? <laughs> so a man whore, <laughs> a man whore to a certain extent. Um, so he has, so he has, you know, a large amount of kids or whatever, um, but and could possibly have any girl he want. You know what I mean? At this point, but he's so very, so very loyal to India. So the question that they posed to him was that what was, you know, the reason why, you know, she's your number oh, one. What? Yeah, you're number one. And he was like, she's um, she she don't cheat. She's extremely loyal. Um, and then he said, you know, another reason was because she had a low body count. Uh, that he know of. That he know of. <laughs> so what's interesting to me is how I would say not so much people our age, you and our age, um, AG, um, but a lot of the younger, like I said, adults and teens, they they really put this 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 huge emphasis when it comes to dating and relationships on on body count. Do you ever remember, you know, when you were younger that that was a thing? Cuz I don't really remember it being just kind of like things that we would discuss when we were younger. I heard of it, but it wasn't in, it wasn't in to me, you know. So I didn't heard it before, so yeah, I'd heard my daughter. She said, my little 14-year-old daughter said, oh, I wouldn't talk to that boy. He got a body count. This is how I got a hot <laughs> I didn't hear her count. talking about boys. Oh, wow. Okay, so, I mean, I guess it is really, really, truly a thing. Um, to but the younger generation. To the younger generation. So, I mean, okay, let's break it down a little bit. So, body count. What would you think? If you were younger, what 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 is the number like? <laughs> what what would be is, your what would be your number? I don't want to know. I'm not finna ask nobody that a question that you really don't want to know. The answer. I'm not. You can't. <laughs> I'm not saying speak from your your adult mind. I'm talking about when you were younger. I'm sure you probably may have wanted to know. I really didn't. With the girl I that you, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't care. I promise you, I promise you cause. like I heard young Dirk say, and that same interview you talking about, he said, "When nobody in here, wife, nobody that been with over ten, been with ten niggas," and I'm like, ten niggas," and you know what I'm saying, old as we is, that ain't nothing, right? That's a you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was thinking about that too. I'm like, well, what what would be a, a what would be considered excessive, I guess, body counts if if you were to to count them? Because 10, 15, 20, like I said, for someone our age in our 40s, that ain't nothing. <laughs> but for a woman, is it? But for a woman, is it? And so that's where that that double standard kind of lies right there. It's like men expectations of women not, you know, sleeping with, you know, a lot of other guys. Cause in that same conversation he was having, mm-hmm. he said ten for his for the girl. Well if she put that ten on him, would he would he be dead in the ward or what? Right. What what and that's a good question. What if women what if women started doing that? Oh, how many women you slept with? I asked you and you say, Well, I done slept with twenty. Oh no. Like we start <laughs> <laughs> that'll be a whole nother reason we put on the list to cut cut a dude off. Be like, Oh, mm-hmm. he, he done slept with ten women. Oh, that's just too much. He is used and abused. <laughs> he ran he ran A G is ran through. through. <laughs> 
I guess it's different with a woman. You got a some a man going up inside of you. Mm-hmm. So I guess that's the difference, man. You going up in side of someone else. Well, regardless of that, because men are still inserting themselves inside. inside of something, and they are definitely not wearing protection each and every time that occurs. So they are opening themselves up to, you know, STDs, STIs, uh, contracting Pregnancy. HIV. So pregnancies, pregnancies, right. Unwanted pregnancies. All of the, all of these things, you know, the man and the woman are opening themselves up to. So I think that people should, and younger adults, if you're listening to this podcast, here's what you guys need to do because it's not really about the body count per se. It's about, if you are laying down, you know, with these people, <clears throat> you need to be making sure that you are protecting yourself self at all times. Now, you know, there's a lot of people out there, too, along with these body counts. We're not just talking about intercourse. We got to think about oral sex, too. And you got to think about who actually getting out a real number. What do you mean? Oh, you're saying people lying about their body count. So yeah. I might say, you may ask me, and I might say 10. <laughs> but really, it's about maybe about 65. <laughs> 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 Damn, you, oh, no, you, you got a body count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better lie. <laughs> <laughs> You better you lie. And that, that you got right. <laughs> Little Dirk would be like, Ooh, nearly Ooh. Nearly. Oh, so that was what <laughs> that was one thing. I'm glad you brought that up because when I was just kind of researching and looking around on the internet, I saw where people began to at that point dig up India's old past relationships, right? <laughs> and they were saying, yeah. like, like, you know, she could be lying to you, bro. Of of course she lying. If he think, like he said, under 10, man, that man put a number out there. He put this number out there. Mm. He ain't wiping you up if you been with 10 niggas. Plain and simple. You, you ain't got a chance with him. So. Oh, man, Indy out here lying. India know she had 12 point, <laughs> 12 point five <laughs> bodies. She done told him, oh, I ain't have seven. Man, that's a you? weird conversation to have with a person, though. Why you say that? I don't want to. I mean, why is there somebody else who you used to talk to got to do with anything what we doing? That's how I look at it. Right. Like, they're the past. So, yeah. why bring them into a current situation? But can you see why? But, I, I mean... That body count shit ain't gonna do nothing but scare you away. Right, it ain't gonna do nothing but scare you away. You're right about you that. You're looking for a reason to leave it. If you want to know the truth. Right. You really right. And people, and then it's so crazy because somebody, uh, maybe an average body count of a 40 year old, maybe. 35 to 40 people, right? Mm. This is just hypothetical. 35 to 40 people that they've, you know, had sex with. But there's people out there that, you know, maybe 40 years old, maybe have double and triple of that in body <laughs> In body oh, yeah. counts, like yeah, people, yeah. people do a lot of people have a lot of sex out here, man. Oh yeah, that's the reason why I say, why would you want to know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why is you trying to find out that? Cause that's that's like you ready to go. Cause ooh, that's gonna make you look at a person different. Right, it definitely do. I wonder how everybody think. If you listen to the podcast, you know you can definitely leave a comment. Um. 
like I said, we we upload these as well to YouTube. If you want to leave comments there on YouTube, we greatly appreciate it. Uh, we had we had quite a few more, you know, viewership over on YouTube on our last podcast, um, Slaughter Foes. That's what I titled it as, which we were talking about, you know, gun laws and um, Joe Button and Slaughterhouse. So I'm very, you know, we're very appreciative of those people that that watched it and tuned in and you know the more right, and more so put up your body count so everybody put your count no up. don't put your body <laughs> <laughs> put your body count in the in the uh in, in the, the comments <laughs> whoever whoever got the we gonna randomly pick somebody out the group yeah, whoever got the most when a right. when a little gift a 25 dollar gift card or something like that <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. But you know, just to kind of end off this conversation uh, um, about body counts, all of you young people out there, body counts really don't. All for all the young people, body counts really. <laughs> do not matter you know in the grand scheme of things the older you get you're gonna realize how it does not matter so just basically you know get to a point in your life where you're just accepting a person for who they are what what type of joy and chemistry you guys that's coming into your life and the energy that you share that's what most important and you know use protection just get you somebody that you know ain't ran through you know, but you will never then, know. I'm just saying, if you don't, if you meet somebody you never met before, you will never know. But if you know went to school with these people, then you know, <laughs> just stay away from them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know the females that you've been around Man, in the neighborhood and that school that the majority of the folks that ran through, and then. But look though, you gotta take it into account because this has this have happened to me with somebody you know. It is men out there, or uh, uh, boys or whatever, that will lie. They lie on their dick, man. They'll say they slept with a girl and they really didn't sleep with her. So while the other dudes around the campus or the school may think that she got a high body count, is because half of them dudes they've been lying. And that and that happened, happened to me. Get a fall off. And that happened to me with somebody that shall remain nameless. Mm. While at Alabama State, you know, and say he got the goods, and, he and did. say he got the goods. And mind you, <clears throat> I'm sure that a lot of a lot of uh, people on the outside looking in, because of you know the type of person that I am and and was. I've always kind of been the type that hung around a lot of dudes more than women per se. And I've always had a lot of platonic relationships with guys. So I would hang around guys, you know, we'd go, I might go to their apartment. They may come to my apartment. We might smoke and drink and hang out and kiki and, you know, laugh and have a good time. But some people on the outside looking in, may look at me or you know as dang she showed to be with a lot of dudes which can maybe come off as if hey maybe she you know maybe she hiding the pants and you know what i'm saying people start making their own assumptions of who you are and be all wrong and then on top of that you have the guys that you may be hanging out with who might be lying on you they be they may be lying they may be lying on your pussy man he he damn sure like he lied on mine. And I talked to him about it. I cussed him out about it. I sure oh, did. Yeah. yeah. When it you when you find out who it is, you gonna just be kiki. Did he uh admit to doing it? Or he said he didn't do it. He just he just sat there with the stuck face like, ah oh, man, you know, kinda like was caught off guard. That you came at him like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, why you done told somebody that, you know, we have sex? And it might have and it might have been a situation like, you know, he might have been hanging around some dudes and my name might have came up and they might have said, you know, 
you and B, y'all, y'all be y'all tight, ain't y'all? You know what I'm saying? Just kind of having a a, a a bro conversation, oh, and somebody might somebody might have insinuated, like that. yes, he might have ins- somebody might have insinuated something with me, and he might not have just cleared up and said, "Oh no." Nah. You know what I'm saying? And let somebody mm-hmm. just kind of go freely thinking that, hey, we did something before. But, nah, man, you ain't even my type, man. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's one of the work. And we might talk about that again another day. But that's definitely, that's when it comes to women, that's one of the worst things a guy could do to us, boy. Lying on that dick, say he did and he didn't. Ain't right. Ain't did shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was supposed to be okay. Self-editing mm-hmm. and self-censoring myself. <laughs> we talked about this in pre-production, y'all. <laughs> I'm good. I I do curse, and I'm 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 really working on trying to stop. But anyway, so Ag, you had this topic for us, which kind of tie into this whole body count conversation. Oh yeah, my main man, Boosie Hefner, last night. Since they had him a pay per view, um, since they didn't kick them off Instagram and try to ban him from Macon, Georgia, a couple other places, he called it. Um, he took it upon himself to invite at least a hundred plus women to his house last night. Majority of them was probably scrippers, <laughs> and he he was like he was at the um, Playboy Mansion. He mm-hmm. called it the Boosie Estates, and he was Boosie Hefner, oh and he had God. a uh, he basically had a shake off on pay per view like a a wrestling match or a boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! So how much how how much was it? To, how much did it cost? Twenty five. And how long was it? How long? How many hours did it last? Probably about five or six. Oh my God! Oh yeah, that was a long that. time. Yeah, he performed and everything. He did. He performed. Mm-hmm. He performed twice, and then he um he introduced all the girls and um to you, mm-hmm. and then they had like a little contest where they was eliminating girls all the way down to the final, the final two. Oh, so he yeah. had this mapped out. He had it planned out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he had a production crew in there. Yeah, he had it all thought out. Mm-hmm. It was um, it was twenty five. I ain't gonna lie, it was. I sat there and watched it the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> five six hours watching Boosie and some strippers. And some strippers. That Boosie know he know how to get his hustle on. <laughs> anyway, to make a dollar man. Yeah, I was just impressed on how many of them it was. I'm like, damn, it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers in there. Oh wow, he <laughs> he probably had every all the girls from you know maybe not all of them from the strip clubs here in Atlanta. They probably no. flying from Louisiana, Alabama. These girls from West Virginia. Oh um, wow. Um, Tennessee, um, Ohio, Phoenix, oh everywhere. Oh, wow. Man. Some of the ones you open your mouth up, they sound like Miss LA, all type of women. <laughs> 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 My girl started talking. I was like, oh, what the what? Oh, this? God. <laughs> yeah. Them high-pitched voice. Oh, yeah. So they was in there, man. Oh, my God. So who was the last two winners? Oh, yeah. You I mean, or the winner. People. He couldn't pick one. He had to get him two. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, it was, yeah, it was two. Um, he couldn't. Him and his son, they sitting on the couch. They doing the judging. Oh, my God. So that's what, I guess that was part of what, you know, the end, they was talking about on the Internet today about him and his son, and he started receiving some backlash Um, about. That boy at least 21 years old already. He ain't no little boy. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. He's at least 20, I know, if he ain't 21. Because Boosie was like, how y'all going to get mad at my son? He just look, he just looking at some pussy. That's it. That's if he can't look at pussy, 
what else he gonna be able to look at? They wasn't doing nothing but looking. They wasn't no, they wasn't nothing enough. He might have slapped a couple of asses, but it wasn't a handful. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Boosie need to cut it out, man. Them, them people down there where he live at, that, that's, you know, it's outside of the city, man. I wonder do he inv- he invited some of the local, you know, little police guys over. I don't know, but he had um, invited some of them comedians, like Desi Bank. He, like, he kept on saying, I'm mad at you, Desi. I'm mad at you. Oh, he didn't <laughs> come. Nah, he, he ain't go. Oh, he wow. He kept on calling out a couple people. And he told him to call and didn't call. Desi got a whole family, though. He got, like, a little wife, a little child. Oh, well, he knew not to call. Yeah, he couldn't. His <laughs> wife said, no, you can't come. Well, Boosie can't get he, mad. Everybody ain't uh, going to. Everybody, Boosie, every, if you're listening. You got to pay some of these people, too, now. If it ain't about no check, people just ain't coming to your house like that. To and chill then with you. Another thing, my partner made me realize he ain't give away nothing. What you mean? You know, like, to the winner? Like at the, yeah, you know, I ain't getting that. I ain't see him give him, they didn't give him nothing out on that line. It wasn't no prize. Dang. He just was all uh, boosted baddie, uh, other, you know what I'm saying, other pay per view. He just had a title. He won a title. Uh, the title, okay. Maybe he did. I mean, with them many girls coming, maybe, I mean, maybe he did pay them a little something, though, just to come. Because he need girls. That's the whole point of the pay-per-view was having the strippers there. Right. And at the end of the pay-per-view, they had showed, um, like, they was going to strip clubs all over, having little contests. Mm -hmm. If you won a contest, you you automatically got to go. Oh, wow. Mm Mm-hmm. Boosie, you need to cut your your your. You need to cut it out, man. I know Boosie, you try. Pop your shit, nigga. Pop your he shit. He swear he Boosie Hefner. I he remember when he had Versace Road. <laughs> no, he yeah. used to be on on Instagram before before they, you know, kicked him off of it. I mean, them girls used to be on the Instagram live, just taking it all off. I oh, mean. Yeah. He, he Boosie was crazy. He was like, "Put your what was that he was saying? Put your put your uh pussy lips on live. I give you a thousand dollars." And they used to be on there doing all. I mean, he had the pandemic was all right from a you know social media <laughs> standpoint. Oh, yeah. Get stuck in the house, man. Everybody used to be on live <laughs> doing all kind of craziness. <laughs> oh yeah, all kind of craziness. Bad. Boosie crazy. He's funny. He's yeah, definitely it went, funny. It wasn't all the way out there. It was censored a little bit. It was censored. Okay. It wasn't all the way live. Right. Yeah. But it was it was worth a little twenty five dollars I had just sitting over in my cash app. Mm-hmm. You know. <laughs> mm Speaking of craziness, but just thinking about just um, humor in general, real quick before we get out of here, um, how you feel about uh, how you feel about Ti being a, a comic now? He's practicing his comedian chops. He's been doing some little stand up gigs. Well, the only thing I can say about Ti, he's very confident in himself, and he's one of them type of people think he can do anything. So it's just. I haven't heard anything about it. I haven't seen the show, so I love to see it though, cause I know you probably gonna make a joke with one of them big old words you be trying to use, <laughs> right? <laughs> Expeditiously. Yeah. So. Yeah, I haven't seen the stand up, but you know, just kind of looking at um, you know, how people just post stuff like, hey, you know, Ti did a little bit comedy bit last night, and guess he got you know. Not rave reviews, but positive feedback. So I'm gonna have to check. I'm gonna have to check uh, Ti out one time. See what okay. kind of com- comedy he gonna try to come with. Cause it, from the little clips I saw, you know he 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 already talked crazy. <clears throat> number one. So I don't know if he going for that Chris like a mixture of Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. 
with a little bit of maybe Kevin Hart mixed in there? I have to hear it. <laughs> I have to hear it. <laughs> you can make me go try to find a clip. Yeah, <laughs> find a clip somewhere. I want to see see the clip too. Because, you know, they, the clips on the internet be, you know, on Instagram and Twitter just be a couple of minutes, like a minute long at the most. So you don't really see his full, you know, his full you show. On YouTube. Yeah, maybe somebody snuck and recorded um, and put it on YouTube. Maybe maybe that. But well wishes to, to T.I. I mean, you know, everybody has one life. Everybody does not have to be um, forced to stick with one career path. You know, life is for the living. Shoot, if you want to go out one day and say, hey, I want to start, you know, doing electricity, and you hey. and you an accountant, hey, you can go I ahead and do that. You can do that. You can do what I, you want. I tell people you can't be afraid to reinvent yourself sometimes. You definitely cannot be afraid to do that. You have to live your life to the utmost and to the fullest because, you know, you know, people people are 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 leaving this earth every day. Um, we did before we go. We definitely wanted to just take the time out to um, send our condolences, love, and prayers. Um, recently, uh, one of the Braxton sisters, Tracy Braxton, she passed away at the age of fifty years old from, I believe, esophageal cancer or cancer yeah. of the esophagus. Yeah. Yeah. Um peace. So rest in peace to her. Um as well. Um Khalees, the singer. Um she kind of been on the background for quite some years and stuff. I know she had became kind of like this um vegan cook and everything, but her husband also passed away. Um he passed away from cancer as well. Um from stomach cancer. He said. Mm-hmm. And he's, you know, pretty young guy also. Um, so we definitely want to send our prayers and, um, you know, and everything and condolences, um, to their families and friends and loved ones. And, and while we at it, um, my, um, my mother's husband just got diagnosed with lung cancer. So while we doing that, so just uh, send him one up to send, send him Horace Glover. One up and have him have, have a speedy recovery from this lung cancer treatment you about to start. Up. Yes, I yes 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 you were right about that. You know definitely. Um, we never want to hear that type of news within our own families because this cancer thing is just taking, it's taking a lot of people out out. You know. That's why I have to, anything, anything I feel is going on in my body that feels weird, I go to the doctor, um, and all of us need to do that, especially men also as well. Don't be afraid to go see your doctors. Don't be afraid to get those, you know, annual checkups, um, get your, you know, prostates checked. I know a lot of y'all, you know, may think it's gay. What the doctors have to do sometime, but you definitely need to get that done checked. I know my um <clears throat> my pops had a little scare as well, maybe a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago, he had to go get uh some type of you know colonoscopy, you know, something with the colon. He had to get something done, yeah. but <clears throat> everything looked fine. But um. So yeah, y'all men, y'all definitely need to stop being so hard headed when it comes to to seeing a doc. I you know I have to talk to and see a lot of a lot of men who just kind of refuse. They be on their deathbed before they decide to go to you know go see a doctor or the hospital, and it shouldn't be like that at all. So nah, don't wait. I started going to the doctor uh, over ten years ago. You know. Mm-hmm. So. It's right. Something you gotta do. And my grandma always told me she's age finna be eighty six years old. She said, Anytime I feel like anything wrong with me, I'm going to the doctor. <laughs> so yeah. I'm taking my grandma everybody. If anything feel like it's wrong with me, you're going to the doctor and just see what they got to say. And you'll be surprised how many people you think you be the only person had this and they'll pull out a whole pamphlet or a booklet with it on. I'm like Right. Damn, I thought I'm the only person that's going on with. Well, no, right. No, <laughs> not at all. 
you are definitely not the only person. It's, it's millions of people out here who who are suffering from various type of ailments and and illnesses, or you know. But the mm-hmm. but the 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 key to it all is to catch it early. You know what I mean? If you could catch it and figure out what's going on with your body early on instead of just overlooking it. Because a lot of times we go on through life and we just overlook things that may happen. Oh, we might be having stomach aches every just day. Deal with it. Right, we just deal with it. We might pop a Tylenol and keep it moving. We can't. We have to stop doing that, you know. Our bodies always internally tell us what's going on. Something ain't right. So the minute you mm-hmm. figure that out, you need to go ahead and, um, you know, see your physician for sure. Listen, I will tell you, I lost my brother, my cousin, my one of my best friends like that. He thought he can go to Family Dollar and, and cure himself of anything. Mm. You know, Family Dollar was his doctor. He wasn't right. going to his doctor. He was going to Family Dollar. Mm-hmm. So and he's deceased. I've been dead for four years. So yeah. That shit don't work. So please go to the doctor. Right. Gentlemen and, and women. Mm-hmm. That's scared. If you're scared, hey, somebody will go uh, hold your hand and go with you. Right. Trust me. All you got to do is sometimes you just got to see it. And then if you're around people and you know they hurting and need to go, shit, you got to push them, man. One of my partners, he just got out the doctor um, like early in this week. Is, he even had something he called Grain Green or something, but this mm-hmm. old lady had to make him go because he was going to wait. And the doctor said he was hours away from dying. Oh, wow. When he got to the doctor. So, yeah. No joke out here, man. No, it definitely ain't no joke. And, you know, you, you young folks, this definitely apply to you guys. Just, you know, just because you're young, don't think that, you know, your body is up to par and it's, you know, and you got a clean bill of health, it ain't always like that. We, you know, we we see a lot of times, you know, the young folks too sometimes get diagnosed, you know, with cancer. And I had had a very, very close, you know, friend of the family that my grandmother used to kind of keep her, you know, when she was little and everything, she, she passed away. Even though her mom was a breast cancer survivor, she ended up passing away at the age of 25 with breast cancer. So, um, yeah, so it, it, it is, it's especially this cancer thing, it, it's, it's no age limit, no age at all. It, it affects everybody. So everybody, you know, we going to keep prayers up for everybody that's listening, even for ourselves and our own families and friends also, um, that we continue to live healthy lives. And we are going to be signing out, you guys. You know how we do. Don't forget, you guys, to um, follow us, subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to share the podcast as well. We're on all streaming platforms that includes Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, Google Podcasts, uh, what else I got, Apple Podcasts, we on Stitcher, we on TuneIn. We're kind of everywhere. We're on Audible as well. So definitely check us out there. And um, follow us at STR8FWDMSB on all social medias. And until next time, you want to say bye, AG? Hey, see you guys later. Can't wait. All righty.